Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I'm going to do a little movie rewind. So I'm going to look back or revisit a movie that I either I've seen before or I haven't seen. Uh, but usually it's going to be a movie that, I, that, you know, that's a few years uh, back. And uh, today I'm going to uh, revisit Pan's Labyrinth because I've seen it before. But before I get into it, let me just give you the quick synopsis. And this comes from the Criterion Collection. An Academy Award-winning dark fable set five years after the end of the Spanish Civil War, Pan's Labyrinth encapsulates the rich visual style of genre-defying craft of Guillermo del Toro. 11-year-old Ophelia comes face-to-face -face with the horrors of fascism when she and her pregnant mother are uprooted to the countryside, where her new stepfather, a sadistic captain and general of Francisco Franco's army, hunts down Republican guerrillas refusing to give up the fight. The violent reality in which Ophelia lives merges seamlessly with her fantastical interior world where she meets a fawn in a decaying labyrinth and is set on a strange mythical journey that is at once terrifying and beautiful. In his revisiting of this bloody period in Spanish history, Del Toro creates a vivid depiction of the monstrosities of war, infiltrating a child's imagination and threatening the innocence of youth. So as I said, I've seen this film before, and this movie, uh, I believe, came out in 2006 when it premiered. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Uh, it says it on the little poster. And I love this movie. I love this movie. It is one of, it, it's definitely in my top five ever. And, uh, you know, I was actually really scared because I haven't seen it in forever. I don't know how many times I've seen it. I don't think I've seen it more than twice, to be honest. And I just saw it in the theater. I don't remember the first time if I saw it, the first time I saw it, if it was in the theater or or or, or at home. I don't remember. But I I just uh, I just saw it actually today in the theater because they're playing it again. And my fear was that uh, I'm I I put it in in such a high regard. But I haven't seen it in so long that I was worried that maybe it wasn't going to live up to that, I guess, pedestal that I put it into, right? Because I have it in my top five. So I'm like, I was like, man, is it really going to hold up? Or is it, am I really going to love it as much as I think I do, right? So that was a big fear of mine coming in. Uh, but once I saw it, oh my God, no. It, it just confirmed how much I love this movie. And uh, man, it's such a good story. So the way he, the way uh, Del Toro, uh, the way he just, everything from the visuals, from the direction, from the story, everything. I just loved it. I loved it. And also that the bad guy, Sergio, Sergio Lopez, man, the captain, whew, man, he, he played it so well. That actor, man, he, oh, so... Yeah, so evil and but he played it so well, man. Uh that was he was one, you know, as being older now, he's definitely a standout. Uh man, he played it so well. But like I said, I was just so damn worried if it was gonna live up to it. And uh and it did, man. And did I cry at the end? Uh you can't prove it. You can't prove that I did. Uh I definitely did, but you can't prove it. <laughs> I'm a baby. I'm such a baby. Well, I, I cry more in movies than I do in real life, for sure. Uh, I bawled, man. I'm not going to lie. I did cry. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't go like, oh, not that type of crying. But I, whew, tears came down, man, when she died, man. That's one of the, that's one of the reasons I love this movie. Because you don't really see it in films, right? Where the kid like the hero right that you you root for throughout the movie and just gets killed even though there's like yes yeah, there's like sort of like that a happy ending because you know in her you know she's going through all this fantastical journey uh and then she at the end as she's dying she you know she becomes the princess right she's she she gets into the world where she's trying to get into in, in the whole movie and that's a beautiful scene, and that's beautiful that that she can sort of um, die in peace. But man, whoo, did I cry? Uh, it was so moving, so emotional. Oh my god, 
So if you've never seen it, watch it. Right now it's playing in theaters. I don't know if it's playing in your local theater, but if you can, try to see it in the big screen. Uh, it just It's just a different energy. And uh, man, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story. Uh, you know, the details are really in the synopsis. Honestly, it tells you everything kind of you need to know. But just just watch it. Uh, it, it it's an amazing film. The, the special effects, they hold, you know what's cool about it? There's a lot of practical effects. Uh, does it hold up? Um, you know, it's a 2006 film. So, you know, the VFX have gotten better. They're still not great, but they've gotten better for sure. Uh, there's a few scenes where like uh, little uh, fairies come out, you know, really CGI'd. But for the most part, it was still it still holds up. Like uh, like uh, like the same way like Terminator for whatever reason still holds up today, for me. Like Terminator Two, uh, that one that one like the CGI and all that it really does hold up because and even with Terminator Two they they have a lot of uh, practical effects when like. Um, the 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 teachers getting like uh, hit with bullets is still practical effects because they, but whatever you know getting back to this one ah uh, oh, man the emotions that that this film gives you man ah oh, it's so brutal and and it's brutal in in every sense man there's like a lot of violence and it doesn't shy away from the violence and from the, like the, you know, it's very political too, uh, with the fascism and, and the guerrillas fighting them. And, and there's like, um, espionage, if you will, like there's a, uh, there's a, there's a woman that, uh, serves, um, she's like, uh, the main cook, housekeeping, every, you know, everything for, for the captain, but she's, the sister of one of, of one of the um, gorillas, uh, uh, their captain, if you will, and so she's also providing them with with medicine, with food and intel, I guess. And so you know, there's there's you know, there comes the time when you're thinking, oh, she's gonna die, and he's, she's gonna get caught, and she does, she doesn't get caught, but you know, she. Uh, tears the face out of the captain is oh it's such a uh everything man such a wonderful film and so this movie's in spanish it's a spanish film um but you'll still enjoy it i you know it's still so enjoyable to see and uh you know obviously it's in subtitles if you're gonna watch it uh maybe it's in dub you know it depends you know one of the beautiful things that guillermo really encapsulates is the depiction of the human coping coping mechanism and in and in this case is Ophelia's where she's already lost her her biological father her mother has moved on to another man and in this case it's the captain the mother's also pregnant and then in also Ophelia's literally moving into the middle of a war because where the captain is uh, stationed, he's stationed in the woods. And in the woods, that's where the gorillas are at. And they're fighting, right? They're literally fighting outside of the camp, right? So all of this stuff, right? So in her coping mechanism, especially of a kid, she's envisioning this fantastical story, right? Where she has to do uh, these three... Ma- three uh, um, like a uh, task, if you will, that the fawn tells her to do. And, you know, she'll be able to go and she'll prove that she's the princess, right? So uh, that's the whole magic of this movie too, is like her story, Ophelia's story, and how she's trying to do all these things in the middle of just chaos, and that's such an amazing, the way he depicts it is so, uh, so great and so amazing. And it's just, a, it's just mind blowing how someone can think of a story like that and, and actually get it done and, and, and show it. And, and, and just, it's just so good. It's so good. Go watch it. It's so good. 
I'm like, no, I'll just, I can wait. But I, I, I just, I don't know. I wanted to see it on the big screen before it goes away because it's been in the, locally in the theaters for a couple of weeks, and most likely it won't stay there for long. So I wanted to revisit it, and uh, I'm so glad I did. And so I will say, check it out. You know, leave a comment and see what you think about it. See if it's in your your you know top ten, top five, whatever. It's definitely a top five for me. Uh, tell me your top five. I'll be interested. But uh, you know, check it out. Like I said, leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my other content, you know, feel free to subscribe, and that would really help me grow. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.